morning, Church on the Ridge. I'm looking forward to a great day. Um, today's going to be a day that Jesus' presence is felt, that uh, his power is seen, and his love is experienced. We're looking at the names of Jesus. Obviously, his name is Jesus. We looked at that Joshua. He's a friend of sinners, one of my favorite names. The Word of God, the one that we receive from and can go to, he is the Word. And then today, we want to look at him as the bread of life. And earlier, uh, I had to get up really, really early to be earlier than you know you are right now. But earlier, I made a loaf of bread. And obviously, I used a bread machine because I'm not very good at it. But I know this, I couldn't have made this bread if I didn't have uh, friends, people in the church who, when this whole COVID shutdown took place, I couldn't get any flour. And they brought me flour. And now yeast is hard to come by, but I found some and I was able to make some bread. And I thought about Jesus being the bread of life. And fresh bread is pretty amazing. It smells great too. And I'm looking forward to having some toast in just a little bit. But um, <clears throat> when Jesus said that he was the bread of life, he was telling people that, hey, come and live, receive from me. We think that our sustenance, that this is the staff of life, you know, uh, that, that bread. But Jesus was very clear. He says, man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And today, I want you to be sustained. I want you to receive. I want you to feed on Jesus. Receive from him. Live because of who he is. Don't just go about your life trying to make bread and make enough bread so you can have enough bread to live on when you retire. But receive from Christ. Let him be the word of God life to you. Let him be the bread of life to you. And take from him today, receive his sustenance, receive his love, receive his power in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for being the bread of life. God, we do receive from you. You are that sweet smelling savor. You are the one who sustains. You are the one who gives life. And we come to you today because we need you. And I pray that you would give life to everybody who's praying with me today. <clears throat> Not the life that we have just with the breath in our, in our lungs, but the life that goes on and on and on that we would receive from the power, the presence, and the grace of Jesus. In your name, amen. Hey, I love you guys. Have a great day and uh, have some bread today.